Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode one, two, three of my TV. And today's episode is inspired because I have been quite stressed the past week, only because it was one of those weeks where, you know when you just get dragged into every single thing that's going on in the, in the business and where you might think, right, this week, totally spending it on sales and marketing, actually Monday goes by and you've done loads of things but not what you actually planned and then Tuesday goes by and you only spoke to one new prospect and, and you get the picture. And so I know that loads of business owners and customers that I speak to have the same thing where you have to be focusing on the high value fun stuff to move your business forwards because like I actually really enjoy sales and marketing so and that's where my talents are best suited and you want to be focusing up there and you end up focusing down here in the tasks that just drain your time and you don't know why they're there and why you keep getting sucked into them but it's happening and so outsourcing, and I don't even mean to a virtual team, although obviously it's one way to do it, but whether to your existing team or whether just passing it to other people that can do it better and cheaper than you. And when I say cheaper, I'm just going to give you a really quick win of something to think about on a daily basis to understand should you be doing that task. So everybody's got a number. And that number is your hourly rate. So, and it, and it often will equate to either what you want to earn or what turnover or sales you want to bring into the business. Now, say for example, in the next year, you want to bring in for the business's turnover an additional 200 grand of revenue. When you work it back, that equates to 142 pounds and 85p exactly. Now, on a Monday morning, if you actually think about that calculation and you think my hourly rate is worth 142 pounds and 85p that's what i need to be that's the value i need to be bringing that's the value i need to be the sales i need to be making you need to be earning 142 pounds every hour it's not a small number by any means and then when you sit there on a monday morning and you're at you sat at your desk and you're at your inbox responding to your emails, and then you take a phone call that comes in, not one that you've planned, is a distraction, and then you have a chat um, by the water cooler. This is like in the morning. I think your morning's when you do all your, op your optimum high-level thinking stuff. And then in the afternoon, another customer calls, and you just take that call, and the staff member asks you a question, and then actually you haven't filed all of the invoices for last month's bookkeeping. And when you start to look at all those tasks individually and think gosh what I should have done that hour was earn 142, 142 pounds easy for me to say and what I've actually done is checked my own emails for an hour or I've just gathered all of my invoices together from last month could I have outsourced that or given it to a member of my team or given it to somebody basically that is going to cost less than 142 pounds per hour? I mean, if you got somebody to manage your emails and they were charging you 142 pound per hour, you'd be pretty miffed. But if you think about it, that's exactly what you're doing. You're paying yourself 142 pounds just to get your emails done. And when you when this, this trick um, is really, really easy to get clarity on, should I be spending my time on this? Hell no. Like if I'm meant to be turning over £142 an hour, should I be responding to my emails all day long? No. Get rid. Should you be um, collating all your invoices together? No, you definitely shouldn't. You know, should you be responding to every single staff um, introduction, like in, sorry, interruption that comes in? No, you definitely shouldn't. There are so many things throughout the day I'm pretty sure that all of you will be afflicted with that come in and happen and it's definitely not worth your hourly rate. So my advice to you this week is have a bit of an audit, just be a bit more self-aware as you're going through the week, the stuff that you're doing, was it really worth your time? Or could you have got somebody who's much better skilled, who's quicker, who's more efficient, who is not that rate and is probably say like 40, 30 pounds an hour, 20 pounds an hour, 10 pounds an hour, whatever it is, it's definitely still a better, quicker win to get somebody who can do it better, cheaper, faster, fast, better and faster are the main two things for me, like better and faster, like you just want it done, you've done well and it off your to-do list, think about it every single time, think about it today, think about it tomorrow, what is my hourly rate, what am I doing right now, is this a good use of my time and it will definitely bring you back so much in terms of freeing your headspace, getting rid of those tasks and focusing on this fun, high value stuff which is where you want to be. And so I like this tip because I think like I think about it a lot. And don't get me wrong, I am not perfect in any way, shape or form. 
yesterday I spent time in my emails for far too long. I was like, why am I doing that? I need to hand it back to Bex, my PA. You know, just keep checking yourself and think about your hourly rate. It will really, really help. And I hope this episode helps to get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. And I will see you next week, episode 124. See you then. Bye-bye.